Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 256 power x plus x equals 0. We solve for the value of x that satisfies this equation. So, let me move this x over here. I will have 256 power x is equals negative x. So, from here, I can decide to multiply the exponent by 1 over x in order to eliminate this x here. So we'll have 256 power x raised to the power of 1 over x equals negative x power 1 over x. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So I multiply this out. I will simply have 256 power x over x equals negative x power 1 over x. Now, from here, x over x is 1, so that will cancel out. That means I'm simply going to have 256 equals negative x power 1 over x. Now, remember, we need to express this in its exponential form. And 256 is the same as writing um, 8 to the power of 3. Right? That is 8 times 8, 64. Are you sure it's 8 to the power of 3? No. I think this should be Rather 4 power 4, and that is 4 power 4, not 8 power 3, 4 power 4. Because 4 is 3 power 4, that is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. What times for 16? 16 times 4, that is 64. 64 times 4, that is 256. So that is it. Now, we are going to replace this with 4 power 4. So we have 4 power 4 equals negative x power 1 over x. Now, here comes the magic. We need to ensure that this and this are the same. How do we achieve that? Here is it. I can say, let k equals 1 over x. So this 1 over x, I'm going to replace it with k. So we we'll have 4 power 4 equals negative x power k. Right? Good. So from here, I will isolate x. How do I achieve that? By cross multiplying. I have k over 1 equals 1 over x. I cross multiply. x times k, that is kx equals 1 times 1. That is 1. From here, I can isolate this x by saying that x equals 1 over k, right? That is dividing each part of this equation by k. So this is my x. That means I'm going to replace this x here with 1 over k. I have 4 power 4 equals negative 1 over k raised to the power of k. So from here, we can decide to actually put this in bracket, right? It's still the same thing so that we can distinguish between this and that. So from here, I need to consider this identity. If you have 1 divided by a, this is just like writing a power negative 1, right? So 1 divided by k is the same thing as writing k power negative 1. So we have 4 power 4 equals negative this negative here k power negative one because of this one over k that is why we are having this k power negative one using this identity right and this is raised to the power of k the k that we have outside here so from here we go back to this simple identity if you have a power n or m equals a power n times m. Let's multiply this out. 
we have 4 power 4 equals negative k power, negative 1 times k, negative k. Have you seen it? So look at it here. 4 and 4, negative k and negative k. Let's consider this identity if you have a power a equals b power b, that means a equals b. Right? So 4 power 4 equals negative k power negative k, that means 4 equals negative k. Or you can just rewrite, you rewrite it as negative k equals 4 by rearranging it. From here you can solve for k. How do you do that? You eliminate this negative by defining it by negative 1 and dividing this by negative 4. This cancel this, right? So we have k equals 4 divided by negative 1. That is negative 4. Remember, this is just our k. And what are we solving for? We are solving for x. And here is the equation that we are going to use. We said, let k equals 1 over x. Recall, that we said k equals 1 over x. That means our k is negative 4 equals 1 over x. So we can isolate x by just cross multiplying this over 1. x times negative 4. Negative 4 x equals 1 times 1. We have 1. Isolating x from here, we divide this by negative 4. We divide this by negative 4. This eliminate this, I have x equals 1 over negative 4. That is my x. And this becomes our answer. You can as well rewrite it as x equals negative 1 over 4. 1 over negative 4 is the same thing as negative 1 over 4. So this becomes our answer. And as usual, you are going to check. I'm telling you the truth. Let's verify. I have x equals negative 1 over 4. And this is 256 power x plus x equals 0. So from here, we have 256 power negative 1 over 4 plus negative 1 over 4 equals 0. Remember, plus times minus is minus. We have 256 power negative 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 because this plus multiplies this. We have that equals 0. I can simply move this over here. It becomes positive 1 over 4. I have 256 power negative 1 over 4 equals 1 over 4. So, remember what I said earlier on? 256 equals 4 over 4, right? That's 4 over 4 or 2 power 8. So, 256 is 4 over 4. Let's make use of that. We have 4 power 4, and this is raised to the power of negative 1 over 4 equals 1 over 4. And don't forget our identity of a power n. Our m equals a power n times n. So we have this multiply this cancel out, right? We have 4 power negative 1 equals 1 over 4. This exponent cancel out if you multiply, right? And what is the meaning of 4 power negative 1? Remember, a power negative 1 equals 1 over a. So, 4 power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 4 equals 1 over 4. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you see this video? This is such an interesting exponential problem. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you and goodbye.